Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute carrots for Easter. I am doing this video a little bit earlier than my normal seasonal videos because they take a little bit more time and you're actually going to need a sewing machine to do this. I mean to do it right you really need a sewing machine. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do this and in a later video I'm going to show you how to make this into an additional craft. But if you wanna just make the carrots just to display or to put in Easter baskets, I think they're cute just as themselves, but I'm also planning to do another craft with them later on. So to get started, you're going to need fabric, a pen, uh, some uh, uh, thread, and it doesn't really matter the color thread whether it exactly matches or not, because you don't really see it. Some fabric scissors. I use a skewer, but if you have the specific tool to um, push corners of fabric, you can use that. Needles and a stencil. Now the stencil I did, I just hand drew my stencil. I made it out of cardboard. You're gonna need two, one for the carrot and one for the leaf. And you wanna make them a little bit bigger than what you envision them coming out because you have to sew them and turn them around. So for example, this size, you can get a size comparison, is gonna give you that size of a leaf. So if you want it a little bigger, a little smaller, and my carrot is that size. So you need those two stencils. And the fabric that I purchased, I got the fabric quarters at Joanne Fabrics. I really like them because they have like a whole wall of lots of different colors and they have them in color order. And they're the perfect size to make probably about nine carats per uh, fabric square. The only thing you want to pay attention to is I really, really liked this fabric but for this fabric, I wanted my hearts to all go down one direction on the carrot. And in order to do that, you waste a lot of fabric. So I didn't get as many carrots out of this one as I did others. So if you do that, you either wanna buy two or just know that you're not gonna get as many carrots. Um, if you go with patterns that are more like these, um, you can get a lot more um, carrots out of them because it doesn't matter which way it goes. So do I do different colors um, from dark red to the or dark orange to the light orange and then different colors of the leaves and you can do all the same color leaves. I decided with each one to do a different color of green. Um, so depending on how many you want will depend on how many fabric squares you do. So basically how to get started on each of these is you want to open up your fabric and you want to fold your fabric in half with the good sides in the center. So the out two sides are your uh, underside of your fabric. And I just placed my fabric together in half and then I did all my cutting at the same time, so that way I um, can just do all my cutting at once and then do all my sewing at once. So decide how many you want to make, and that'll decide how many you want to cut out. It's two leaves per carrot, so it's four pieces because you're going to do two together. So I cut mine together. So the first thing I do is just go across and just trace all my leaves. And then you wanna do the same thing with your carrots and cut them out. Now, when I cut them out, I do use a pin and I put a pin in here to hold them together so that when I go to sew, I have the two pieces that I cut together stay together until I'm ready to sew them. So once you have all your carrots cut out and your leaves, then you're gonna go on the sewing machine and just sew um, your seam down each side. And you're gonna sew your leaves the same thing around. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you just wanna make sure 
that you're catching the fabric and you leave a good amount of space. Don't get too close to the edge because um, sometimes if you get too close to the edge as you fill it, the seam can break. So once you do that, then the next step is you want to turn all of your pieces right side out. So I just shove my thumb in as far as it'll go and then I turn it like so. Then once you have it here, so you're gonna have to get the point. So I use my sewing scissors and I gently just poke it through until I get to the point where my scissors don't work anymore. And then I take the um, skewer, I take the blunt end of it and I just poke it the rest of the way until you get to the point where you can't do it anymore. And then that's the point of your carrot. And then you do the same thing with your leaves. You just want to flip them right side out and do that with all of them. And uh, well, the other obvious thing is you want to tie off your ends to your, um, to your thread before you do that part. Okay, then the next step is you're gonna take um, polyfill and you just want to start out with a small amount of fill, just a little bit so that you can get it into the tip of your carrot. And so I just, again, push it down with my finger as far as it will go. And then I take again my stick and I just push it. I kind of squeeze the fabric together and push it down so that it doesn't poke through the fill and just go into the tip that it actually is pushing and it pushes your fill down to your tip. Then you just want to keep doing this with small amounts until it gets larger. Once you get to the more open part of the carrot, then you can start putting larger quantities of your fill in, but you just want to make sure you get that tip of the carrot fill before you start putting large amounts of your fill in. And then once you get to an open spot, then you can use your finger and fill it, and then you can start putting more generous amounts in to fill it. And you wanna fill this all the way to the top. Um, you wanna leave a little space at the top um, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold down the top and hand stitch it. So you don't want your fill overflowing, but you want it full enough so that after you do the stitching, it's a full, it's a full carrot and it's, it, it's full to the very top. Now, once you have them all stuffed, you wanna get a needle and I like one that's long so that I can uh, fit a good amount of fabric on the needle. And I double up my thread so it's strong and knotted at the end. And you wanna leave extra thread because as you weave around, you want enough thread to be able to work with. But at the end, once you pull it tight, you will have extra thread to cut off. So basically all you wanna do is fold your fabric down and weave your needle inside and out. I start at a seam so that that way, as I go around, I end at a seam. So that way I know I've, I've done the whole thing. It just makes it easier. I don't really have to think about it too much. I just watch where the, theme, the seam is. So basically that's all you wanna do is just weave your needle in and out of the thread. And once you get through some, pull it through and then just continue that all the way around. It doesn't really matter um, if your stitches are even. Um, you just wanna make them small so that as you pull it, it'll gather that carrot. So just do that all the way around until you come back to that seam. Okay, once you get to the end and you're back to your initial seam, you wanna put the needle right through that seam area like that. And the reason I do this is next you're gonna add your leaves and then what you wanna do is after you add your leaves, put the needle through the opposite seam. 
That way it gives you exactly halfway. So you don't have to worry about eyeing it up. You just follow the seam line. So with your leaves, you just wanna gather the fabric. And I like to start and end with my seam up. Now the key here, <laughs> these are gonna get tucked inside your carrot. So you don't wanna put your needle too close to the bottom. You wanna give it enough room that when you gather it, it gathers all of that into the carrot. So once you've pleated it, you're just gonna put your needle through the leaf. And I always put my cardboard down so I can push it. And you're gonna do that. So then you're gonna do the same thing with your second leaf. You just wanna pleat it. having both seams up, and then you just wanna put your needle in through the whole pleat and just allow enough space. So once you put them in, then you just wanna pull them through and keep your thread from twisting. So then all you have to do is find the opposite seam, put your needle back to the outer and then just make sure they're standing up, pull it tight and there you have your carrot. So pull it as tight as you can, not so tight that you break the thread, but if you have it doubled, it should be pretty tight. Then I hold the thread with my thumb and then I just gather a little bit of the fabric, put my needle through and tie it into a knot, pull it tight. And then I usually prefer to hand knot instead of doing that again. I just basically cut the, th the needle off and then just give it two more knots. Like so. And then just cut your thread off close to the top. And see, as you notice, you don't really see your thread. So um, it doesn't really matter what color orange, you don't have to go crazy matching it. And there you have it, a cute little fabric carrot. And there's lots of different possibilities of things that you can do with this. So if this is your first time watching, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe. If you want to receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.